hello my fellow crafters how are you all doing i hope you're all doing great and i hope you're all crafting and keeping steady on the grind so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a round bag with bamboo handles so to make this bag you will need some fabric you will need your lining fabric try to go with a light material don't do what i did try to go with like a light fabric like for example lining material polyester lining material and then i also had my african print fabric this fabric was printed minimate it was very easy to work with and So these are the dimensions of the fabric. The fabric was the 28, 28 and a half inches long and 14 and a half inches wide. So in centimeters, that is 72 centimeters by 37 centimeters. Then the first thing that I did was to put the lining on one side, my two lining fabrics, and then I folded them in half. And then I took a dinner plate and then I used it to draw the curved edge. Then I used it to draw that curved line on the corner and then I just went on and cut it out with the scissors. And then I also did the same thing for my printed fabric. So now that is the shape that I have on all my four fabrics and then I now went on to join so what I would do is I would take my printed fabric and then my lining fabric and then I would place them right sides facing each other and then I would stitch on that part at the top so this is after stitching and this is what it looks like and when you open it it looks like that I did the same thing for my other two pieces then i now laid my fabrics again this time putting only the printed fabrics together putting the right sides facing together And then on those sides, just before where they join to the lining, I left a gap of about 3 to 4 inches. Then I now went on to stitch. After stitching, I now went on to insert my handles. We insert our handles at this point. So these are my bamboo handles and then I will just insert them onto the fabric like that on this side and then on the other side. So after inserting my handles I now went on to join 
my lining fabrics. So on your lining fabric, make sure that you leave a gap on the bottom. The gap should be enough for your ring handles to pass through because when we turn this bag inside out, those handles are going to need a space to come through. So the gap that you leave on your lining, when you are touching your lining fabrics, it should be enough to allow for the handles to pass through. So after stitching, I now went on to now turn my bag inside out. And then before we proceed, I went on to make sure that I close that gap that I used to turn the bag inside out. After closing the gap, this is what we have. We are almost done at this point. And then I now went on to the edges. Right on to the edges of the bag. We will now go on and close all those uh, raw edges or raw gaps that we see. It's just a matter of taking your printed fabric and your lining fabric. And then folding them inside and then pinning them and then going to stitch. So at that point, I had already stitched those sides, the gaps. And then now, I now went on to now make sure that um, my ring handles are nice and smooth. So now what I was doing there was to now make sure that my ring handles, that I tighten the fabric around the ring handles and then I pin. So there I had pinned all the fabric around my ring handles and then I just went on to pin them.
then I went on to stitch them on the sewing machine. And when I stitch them on the sewing machine, because I'm trying to stitch as close to the ring as possible, I used this um, presser foot. It's a very narrow presser foot and it allows you to get really close to the handle. So there I stitched one side, you can see the difference between the side that has been stitched and the side that has not been stitched. Then I went on to do the same thing to the other side. So there I stitched both sides. So to prevent the handles from moving up, you can also stitch them and sew them really tight and close to the handle so that they don't continue to ride up. And then another thing if you want you can also add an inner pocket so this is basically the result it's just a basic idea of how you can sew a bag using bamboo handles thank you so much for watching this video you guys i really appreciate you continue to make beautiful things and inspire me as i inspire you thank you so much bye